Hello everyone, my name is Fred, and in this video, I'll talk about my new stylized material for Substance Painter. FTS Smart material is designed for creating PBR stylized textures and has many settings for different textures. The main logic of the material is based on generating and adjusting artistic masks. With this material, you can create stylized materials for wood, metal, rust, stone, moss, and much more. The overall structure of the material consists of several pre-configured layers and contains folders with generators for creating various textures. The bottom layer is the background and is not adjustable. The base color layer affects the overall color of the model and is a fill layer. Next is a folder with generators for metal, paint, and rust. These generators are together because they interact with each other. You can create a vertical gradient from the bottom of the model with simple settings and also change its color. The top gradient layer works similarly and has similar settings and you can also change its color. The next layer is responsible for generating dirt in the crevices of your model and contains several additional parameters to give the dirt edges a more stylized look. You can use the paint layer to manually erase or add to the dirt pattern, depending on your needs. The next two filter light layers are pre-configured baked lighting that makes your model more dimensional. You can adjust the layer's opacity to increase or soften this effect. The ambient occlusion layer is responsible for generating shadows for your model. And you can also adjust the parameters to achieve the desired effect. In this layer, you can also change the color for future shadows. Adjust the corners of your model using a simple FT generator. Change their thickness, contrast, and generation to achieve a more interrupted artistic line. You can edit the generated corners in the paint layer and simply erase unnecessary parts or add more. The cavity layer works on the same principle and generates a mask in the crevices of your model. Adjust the mask using convenient parameters and edit manually in the paint layer. The material already has a layer with pre-configured baked light to make your model more dimensional. Adjust the layer's opacity parameter to enhance or reduce the baked light effect. At the very top of the material are three folders with generators. The first folder contains two generators for creating a wood pattern and stylized edges. Slightly above is the stone generator folder, which allows you to create a cool pattern for your stone texture. And the last folder contains a generator for creating moss, snow, sand, and much more. Before I move on to demonstrating the main generators for metal, wood, and stone, I want to remind you that this stylized smart material is available for purchase on ArtStation, FlipNormal, and KuBrush via the links in the description. If you're in the CIS or Russia, you can buy this material in my VK community also via the link in the description. Additionally, you get a detailed usage guide in PDF format. I have this set of stylized primitives in the form of wood, metal, and stone which I have already textured during the material testing process. I will use these models as an example, and let me show you what the FT Smart material can do. I simply drag the FTS Smart material onto all objects and start painting the metal. We open the folder containing the metal, paint, and rust material. I highlight the objects in the mask to which all layers are applied. Currently, only the metal is enabled and you can already see the preliminary settings. In the metal generator, you can adjust the pattern of the texture itself, add up to 10 different colors, and mix them to get unique shades. At the same time, the pattern generation settings also affect your color choices, increasing your creative space. The generator has the option for alternative artistic spots for pattern generation, which are also adjustable using the generator's global settings. To make your texture more dimensional, you can adjust the height and gloss channels. At the bottom of the generator, there's an option to add noise. Just drag your noise there and experiment to achieve the exact effect you need. Let's move on to the rust settings. As you can see, the rust is in a separate folder and has two generators. The first generator is responsible for setting the overall rust mask, and the second generator creates uneven edges. Let's move on to the overall rust settings. And here are several parameters responsible for generating the mask itself. With these parameters, you can generate rust in the crevices of your model. Using the generator within the layer, you can also adjust the pattern within the rust itself, so it doesn't look like a flat-filled color, but contains an artistic pattern inside. Adjust the color, mix shades, add gloss, and much more. 
These parameters give you unlimited possibilities to achieve cool artistic solutions. Let's enable the next layer with edge generation. And as you can see, these two generators work together, complementing each other, creating detailed and beautiful rust. The edge rust mask is also adjustable with several parameters. Adjust the edge's curvature, its contrast, blur, and much more. And with the additional HSL layer, you can change the saturation and contrast of your color. Add paint over your metal and rust. With the FT generator settings, you can adjust the overall mask for the paint and create interesting damage and peeling effects. This generator also interacts with previous materials and you can easily achieve effects of damaged stylized metal with rust and a painted surface. In the layer settings, you can similarly adjust the pattern for your paint and create interesting artistic solutions, add various shades, and generate brush strokes in the paint texture. For the paint material, height and gloss settings are also available, allowing you to create PBR textures. Let's move on to wood materials. To start, I also assign a material to our object and select only the planks. The first generator is responsible for creating artistic spots for the wood texture. This effect can be called wood chips. With this generator, I can create elongated wood chip strips, adjust their edges, thickness, size, intensity, and more. You can create any shape for your wood chips and adjust the influence on your object so that this pattern fully covers your planks or partially interferes with your main textures. This way, you can enhance your wood texture with additional detailing. In this generator, you can also change the colors and shades for the wood chips, adjust their gloss, and add more volume to your texture using the height channel. The next wood generator is responsible for creating a stylized outline, often used in game projects. I'll change the color to a brighter one so you can see the effect better. Now let's move on to the FT plank settings, which are used to generate edges. You can generate edges using the ambient occlusion map to achieve cool effects, or mix this map with the main generator settings to combine the generation effect on the corners and recesses of your model. Adjust the thickness, curves, contrast, and line breaks using the global generator settings. Edit the generated lines manually in the paint layer to achieve results for your specific tasks. You can also use these two wood generators together to get an interesting detailed effect for your wood. Let's move on to the stone generator. I also open the folder and assign our material to the stone. In this folder, there is one generator for creating stone texture. It is configured in a similar way to the previous generators, but has its own individual settings and unique pattern. You can also adjust the color and mix shades, as in previous generators. The main task of this generator is to add artistic spots to the stone texture. You can adjust the mask's influence so it doesn't completely cover the model's base color, but adds interesting variations to your stone texture Create your pattern variations, add custom noises, and adjust them with global settings to achieve your unique result. Now let's move on and open the folder containing the MX generator. I simply highlight our stone, and as you can see, moss has appeared in the model's recesses. In the FT Moss generator settings, we find general settings for the generated mask. They allow you to enhance your mask and give it more contrast, diffusion, and adjust the edges. The mass generation itself occurs slightly below, and you have several maps to choose from. For example, ambient occlusion generates a mask in the recesses, and you can also fine-tune it with simple settings to get a more specific result. The position map allows you to generate a gradient mask from the top or bottom of the model. This is great for creating dirt or dust effects. The thickness map is perfect for generating moss and mold in your model's recesses. You can also generate a light map that illuminates your model from different sides and allows for spraying effects. This mask is great for creating snow by generating on the upper positions of your model. I also fine-tune each generated mask with the main parameters to achieve cooler generation variations. Adjust the moss pattern and texture in the material settings in the same way as in other layers. You can change the size, tiling, diffusion, contrast, and much more to get the results you really need. For this material, there's an alternative noise mode to expand texture variations. And you can also upload your custom noise and adjust it with the material's global settings. 
Use color parameters and add up to 10 different colors and mix them to get interesting effects and shades. In the additional paint layer, you can edit the generated texture and draw it manually, allowing you to fully control the final result. Create your unique textures with the MX generator, such as snow, sand, earth, and much more. This material is very flexible and gives you complete creative freedom. With the stylized FTS Mart material, you can create both quick stylized textures and more artistic works. Remember, this material for Substance Painter is already available for purchase. All links can be found in the description of this video. As you already understand, this material offers great flexibility in work, and within this texturing tool, you can paint stylized models of any complexity. I painted this stylized mug entirely with the stylized FT Smart material. And very soon, I will upload a full video with the complete creation of this 3D model. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new stylized content. Well, I wish you creative success. This was Fred. See you soon.